Hello everyone. In my last video, I showed you how to create a free business email account with your custom website domain name from Namecheap cPanel. And in this video, I'm going to show you how to connect your email ID to your Gmail app on your mobile devices. This process will be same for Android and iPhone both. The only requirement is Gmail application should be available in your mobile device, which is available in almost all devices. All right, so let's get started. If you do not have Gmail, then of course you can download it from the App Store uh, of your respective operating system. If you have Apple, then you can do it from the Apple App Store. And uh, if you have Android, then it will be available by default. So let's get started. So open your Gmail application and from here, click on this option. It will show you all your email accounts available on your device. And here you will see this option, add another account, click here. And then from here, you will see this options, click on other. And here type your email ID that you created. So for me, it was demo at the rate. Then here you will see this option, two options, manual setup and next. Click on manual setup. And from here, select IMAP. Do not select POP3. POP3 will not sync the emails properly on your server and here. So select IMAP here. And then you put your password. This will be the password you used when creating your email account. Click on next. Now in username, it should be a full email ID. In server, just your domain name. Then again, click on next. Now here in incoming server settings, again, just uh, your server should be your domain name and everything should be default. Click on next. Okay, the password enter I entered was incorrect, so I have fixed it. And now let's see if it works. Okay, you can see here the Gmail app has validated your username, password and server settings. Now you have some additional information. You can uh, change these settings. Uh, this, the sync frequency, the lowest po option possible is the 15 minutes. If you click here, you will see this options never 30 minutes or every hour. I would suggest you to keep it at 15 minutes and uh, you can always manually refresh, but you cannot set lower frequency than this. And then uh, keep this option selected and about the Wi-Fi attachment, it depends on you. Then click on next. And here you can change the name of your email account. So this is the email, the email recipient. And here you can change the your display username if you want. So I will keep it at default and then click on next. So our email account has been set up to create a, now to send your email and check your emails, you have to go here and here. Now you will see your new created email ID here. And you will see all the emails that are currently available on the server. And you can also now send new emails. So you can see few emails here. here. Uh, this is the email that I used for testing before creating this video. So it's all, well, so it's all working. I have tested it and uh, earlier there was an issue. And this is because Namecheap has a really aggressive spam filter. So if you do not send email with proper subject, if you send email, just test and uh, something like that, then it will get caught in the spam folder and not get delivered. In my previous video, I've also shown you how to troubleshoot that. So you can check that if you want. Now, if you want to send an email, it's the same process. Just click on compose and uh, then send your email and it will work out. Now in the second method, I will show you how to connect your business email to your Gmail inbox. So it will be directly every email will be at the same place. Earlier it used to work uh, really well because you can have all the emails at a single place instead of uh, different inboxes. So, but now there are a few cons with that also because of the additional verification required by email providers like Microsoft, Gmail. So I will explain that later. First, let's learn how to connect the email ID. So for that, go to your Gmail inbox on your desktop, then go to settings icon here, click here. 
okay i'm already here so i will have to go back and click here then you will see see all settings now go to accounts and imports then go to check email from accounts okay click on add an email account put your email id here click on next and then gmail only provides this pop3 options if they provided imap option it would have been much better but that's not available so that's an additional problem the difference between pop and imap imap is what we used when connecting it to our gmail app on our mobile device basically whatever you do when you read an email or uh, mark it as read or anything like that then all that server changes is also replicated on the cpanel server so everything is completely in sync but with pop3 if you read an email from your gmail inbox it will not be show at it will not show as read on your cpanel inbox so that uh, that's a problem one problem with this and it's a minor problem now to connect it click on next and here in username put your full email id and in password put your password and pop server just put your domain name do not put anything else by default it will be pop3 something just put your domain name and uh, without anything like http www or anything just put pop server here and in port option select double nine five then tick this option so that it will leave a copy of the email on your server after retrieving it otherwise if you do not tick this option then it will retrieve the message to your gmail box and delete everything from your server so make sure that you tick this if you do not want all your messages from the server deleted then also use the ssl option it is good for security encryption then if you want to clearly identify the emails coming to this email inbox then i will suggest you to tick this label incoming message option also and uh, you can also put a new label here if you want and then click on add account now gmail will also ask you if you want to send email as this email id click yes click on next now uh, here select the display name so if uh, for this purpose i would say support okay um, and then there's the email then you can keep this option treat as an alias and then click on next in smtp server again just put your domain name delete this okay and in port select 465 username put your full email id and then your password and then click on add account okay now you will see that for a verification google will send you a uh, verification link so check that from the cpanel inbox here in my cpanel inbox you can see i just got this email this is for the verification so you can just uh, click here and approve when you open that link it will show you this option click on confirm now you can see now you can send the email as this email id go to your gmail inbox and send your test email now you have to just go to compose and here now this email should be available okay so i have already done the testing before creating the tutorial um multiple times so it is working there is no doubt about it and you can also try and there is an uh, additional thing that you should know that when you go to the settings accounts and import here you will see this option when replying to messages um, you will have this option reply from the same address to which the message was sent so if you are using your business email with your gmail inbox then tick this option instead of always reply from default address so that you can avoid sending emails from your gmail id instead of the business email when you are replying to someone now when you are replying if a email was sent to your business email id and you click on the reply option it will directly select that from email address to which it was sent okay and as i said earlier there are few cons with this method now earlier it used to work flawlessly there was no issue with it but now uh, in 2024 with all the additional verification required for emails 
sometimes when you send an email from gmail using your business email id the other recipient email server like microsoft or gmail may show that it has been sent by gmail sometimes it may also show your gmail address as an additional email address so that's a con and sometimes it may also go to spam but uh, because some users have faced this issue it is all, all because of the additional verifications required by the email providers and there is nothing you can do about it so you can test the system if it is working for you you can continue to use it but the method one which i showed you how to connect it to your gmail app on mobile um, that is completely a different method and there is no issue with that so that will continue to work i hope you found the tutorial useful and uh, 